closing it out in a sweet way here. I've got my favorite treat, Italian ice from Rita's. Yeah, that's right. And joining us live this morning in studio is Harry Jones with Rita's Ice right here in Atlanta. And I have to ask you, Harry, it's been not the most exceptionally warm time out there, uh, a lot of wet weather as well, but has that prevented people from visiting Rita's? It, 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 uh, look, business is a little bit slower than we hope, but still people are coming out. You get a little ray of sunshine and people are just heading out and trying to get a uh, little coolness and enjoy some of our frozen treats. Uh, so we have to explain what Italian ice is because I think I call it water ice. A lot of people may not even know. what. So explain what, what water ice or Italian ice is. Yeah, Italian ice is, uh, like you said, if you're from Philadelphia or that area, you call it water ice because it is a water-based product. And, uh, but what it's made, it's made in our proprietary machines in our stores. We have over 65 flavors. All of our fruit flavors contain real fruit pieces. Uh, and like I said, it's made on location. It's cool, it's creamy, and it's delicious. Are the flavors chosen? Are they weather dependent or seasonal dependent? They're not. What we try to do is uh, we do it a lot by color. We have over 65 flavors that we make fresh. Um, in each individual store, we have flavors that are uh, dual or co-branded, such as Starburst Strawberry. We have Swedish Fish. We have indulgent flavors like Fudge Brownie that has brownie pieces and fudge pieces in it. We have Cotton Candy. Literally, uh, this I've Wednesday. I've had all of these, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> not at one time, I don't think. Maybe not all of them, but maybe one maybe night. Maybe one weekend. Right <laughs> so now, uh, great, great flavors. There are any popular ones that are most uh, favorite? Yeah, I actually brought some for us to try. Our most popular flavor is mango. And uh, we use over 300,000 pounds of mango annually in the production of, uh, of the mango flavor. We have lemon, we have cherry, we have chocolate. And those are probably the four core flavors that everybody starts with. I have to imagine, like, you know, in a year when weather is really affecting the production of mangoes or other types of fruit, it could be, it could be affecting your business. Um, it, it, you know, I think because they plan out and they know what that's going to do and what the cycle is, they really have uh, mangoes that they acquire from the year before and, you know, make sure that they lock in what they need. Okay. All right, well, let's stop talking. Let's eat. Let's try let's it. Well, let's, here's yes. the mango Here's the mango. Right we got to start with that. So let's start with this flavor and see what you guys think. It looks delicious. Let me delicious. grab a scoop. Let me grab a little cup. Let's and so you can get water, I mean, you can get water ice just, or Italian ice just like this, or you have something that you, you put a custard in, you call it a gelati. We do. Our signature dessert is actually called a gelati. And what that is, it has our creamy, cool custard on the bottom, Italian ice in the middle, and then custard on top. And custard is like a, a, a form of ice cream. It was actually founded uh, in 1919 in Coney Island when an ice cream guy decided if you actually put egg yolks in his custard, it'll make it richer, creamier. Mm. And uh, actually, back then, it actually kept it long, colder longer. Mm. Oh. I'm going to eat the rest of this during break. <laughs> you're sticking around for another half hour. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to veil a new fall flavor next hour. We'll be back. Exposed. Vulnerable.